Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited about the video we're about to share with you guys today. We are finally getting the living room finished and done. Um, as you can see behind me, uh, quite a lot of things are missing and that is because they've been moved from this space because we're kind of starting from scratch, it almost feels like. Um, I will share with you the things that are already up that we've already done. But before I do that, I wanted to just say that I am trying to do kind of like a um, modern classic kind of look. I don't want anything too fussy. I want to keep it slightly minimal. Um, and I want to do the kind of decor that, you know, I can share with you guys that you can just take stuff out and add new things in and you don't have to do too much for the space to look different. So that is the idea, but I'm sitting with more modern classic look and slightly minimal. Um, so that's where we're going. Um, so to show you the things that we've added in the space, uh, first thing to share obviously is the console table. If you haven't seen this, I'll link the video in the description bar below. Please go watch it. It is super easy to make. We created one for this space. I wanted one that was super big. Um, and I, anything that I found this size was insanely expensive. So we decided to build one ourselves, which came out really, really good. It's our first build ever. The other thing that we've added is the, um, the, what we, the curtains on the, on, on here, we changed those. I wanted them to be a lot more fuller. So I'm using the same ones that I used in my bedroom. I absolutely love these curtains. They are from Ikea. Um, I will link to it below for you guys so you can actually check it out. I love them. They're so inexpensive for the quality of curtains that you get. Super inexpensive. Then the next thing that we've also added, obviously, is the coffee table. Um, so I did share this also that we built. We re we updated is something that I picked up off of Facebook and I wanted something really nice and big for this space because I wanted it to really take pride of place and I love the way this one looks it fills the space really well and it creates a good aesthetic for this room so I really really quite like it then we've also or if you remember we only had this la uh, light up here just this one and then we had another one same as this that was over at the dining area so what we decided to do to kind of create symmetry in the space was we added the other one over there. Um, so we moved the one that was in the dining area and added it here. So we have two here. Yes, the room is so much, much brighter. Um, and I like it like this when we're filming, <laughs> but when we're not, I like kind of cool light, which I'll show you the ones that we're adding in the space. But yeah, but it makes so much sense to have both of them here. The last thing that we've also added is the mirror behind, well, in front of me, the mirror that's sitting on that side of the wall. I love this mirror. I love the fact that it is super classic, very, very, very traditional in some ways, but also um, I like the fact that it feels slightly modern, uh, but brings in a little bit of antique into my space. If you look at the details on it, um, I, it's, it's slightly traditional and I like that because it feels like I've got a little bit of antique and it's big, which is what I wanted for this space. Okay, we're talking too much. So now let's get to what we are actually doing today. So I think I am going to start to bring the new chairs that we're going to be using in this space. I love them, love them, love them, love them. So let's bring those in first. Oops. So this is the chair. I absolutely love these. They are so beautiful. I love the simplicity of it. I love the modern feel of it as well. Um, this chair will fit in any space. I swear you can put this in a farmhouse and it will look just as good. I love it, love it. I love the color of it. I love the fact that it's quite high at the back as well. And it sits really well with the console table. Um, and it's wider than the one that we had here from Ikea. And I just love it. The one thing that I will say, oh, actually, is that when we got it, this here was like a brown, um, like a, it's, met, it's metal, but they made it to look like wood. I hated that. So I spray painted this. I will link it below, but when you see, you notice that this looks like wood. But what I did was I just uh, primed it with a, a sp uh, primer and then sprayed it. So you use two different sprays, spray primer and then the color, which was black. That's what I wanted to do there. Now that we've got the chairs, I will start by decorating the console and then I'll move my way towards that way. These are one of my favorite things that I have ever found at Home Goods. I absolutely love them. Love, love, love them. I've seen them once again since I found them. Uh, but I absolutely love these vases and I am going to be using them here. I'm not going to put anything in any of them at all. I'm just using them empty 
um, because I'm gonna have a plan that sits there and I just don't want this space to be like super cluttered so I'm just gonna leave that as is I'll put what these are called <laughs> in the description bar below I was given this by a friend and she said to me that they help to kind of calm your mood and I don't believe in these things but I'm using it in my house I think it looks really pretty so I'm gonna put it here if it helps my mood why not right I just have to see how it goes but I'll link what they are be below I'll link them for you below so I'm just gonna put that kind of there and then I have these candles that I picked up from Amazon they are super pretty I love the color of them as well and um, they're not really really wide uh, they're made out of wax but then they have like they're battery operated and they have a, a remote which I love anything with a remote I'm here for it and I'm using these Dollar Tree candle stands for them um, so I'm just gonna angle them kind of like that as usual a book you'll never be me without a book uh, so I'm putting a book here and obviously a box for catch-all keys that type of stuff because after all this is our console that we use when we come into the house so this works right here I just thought I'd show you how this thing works I've got um, oh. ah, there we go <laughs> So that's how it looks. I absolutely love it. At night, that flickers, which is really, really cool. So I like it very much. On the chairs, I am just using this simple, kind of short lumbery cushions that I got from Marshalls, I think. That was sometime last year. I'm just gonna use those here. I've seen them in Home Goods recently. They have a bigger one too. Um, and I like them here. So I'm just gonna put that here to kind of bring in a lot more of that black. And then on here, I always like to keep this super simple. I don't like to clutter it because I've got things happening at the back. So I don't want so much happening here. So I'm just using this vase with like a little plant in it. Obviously it's artificial. Um, and then I'm just adding coasters. Always have coasters. So I'm using, keeping those at the back. And that's as simple as I'm gonna leave that. So I am going to attempt to carry my massive plant and I'm gonna put it at the back there. I've shared this before this was an amazing find that I got from but I get this from Target love 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 it it brings such life to this space and I absolutely love the way it looks I feel like for me it is tradition that I have to always use this for spring I don't really care what colors I'm using this always have to come up for spring like always I love this I love these flowers so very much um, I got them from TK Maxx and HomeSense in England. I've never been to HomeSense here, so I can't say, uh, but I've been to HomeGoods and I've never seen anything that looks like this. I've got something that I'm gonna share with you guys that it doesn't come as close to the quality of this, but it's good too. Um, yeah, but I love, love these tulips. They're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And see how like the petals are just kind of falling on their own. It just makes it look so natural. So I am going to sit this right here. And I'm using a shorter vase just because we have the TV up front and I want it to be low so that, you know, it doesn't disturb anybody's view. I shared this book stand over Christmas. Uh, I think this is the first time that I'm actually using it. And I have this book, which I absolutely love. It's got great architecture in here. So I'm just going to find a page that I like and just open it to that page and then leave it. That looks cool. Oh, that works. I'm just gonna leave it like that. More books. again books more books i decorate with books a lot i love books i love the height that they give i love how they just make the space look really cool yeah so one turn this way the other one turn that way just to create some interest i love it creates contrast as well on top of this one i am gonna put that there and then obviously the black will sit here 
and then I'm using this I don't know what it is I picked it up from Ikea I really love it I don't know what it's meant to be but I'm using it as a little tray so it's just gonna sit here empty open by itself no fuss just that first order of business for my couch is usually a blanket like always you sit you pull it you use it I don't care what time of year it is summer spring I always have a blanket I'm always cold I don't know what that's about but it's just me so I always like to have a blanket. Then I'm adding two massive cushions. Uh, these are from Target quite a while back. Um, so I'm using these two here. And then I'm gonna add a black one on this side. Just contrast. And then to really make it interesting, I am going to be using these two cushion covers that I got from uh, when I get them Amazon so I am going to use that one there or maybe not maybe that one there no I like it there that one there and this one right here and that's as simple as I am going to do that bit all done done I think this is one of my very first DIYs that I did when I got to the US uh, the base is from a thrift store I got this from uh, Home Goods a couple of days ago. This was 16 pounds. The base was $3. I'm saying pounds, dollars. Um, and so for me, this is $19. And you can't beat that, really. You can't beat that for $19, $19 at all. This is the reason why I love thrifting. It's so good. I'm using that to cut the tag off. This is, um, I don't know whether you've seen, this is like a remote control plug. All I'm doing is attaching my plug to this one and then I'll attach it to the wall which means I can then turn on these lights um, by using just my remote control. I'm using it on this light and that one over there. It makes it easier to kind of turn them on and off. You don't have to stand up to do it. And then for right now I think I'm just feeling just... I always like to do three things and I kind of feel like that works. I don't know but I'm going to put that there for now. I'm always changing my mind but I like that. So I do a blanket here. The room is all set. I am going to show you what it looks like. I absolutely love how this space has turned out. It's been quite a bit of work kind of curating everything, making sure that everything works for the space. And I am so happy with how it's turned out. So let me show you. Thank you guys so so much for watching i really appreciate you stopping by please do not forget to subscribe if you are new i've got some really fabulous videos coming up as well so please subscribe if you are new or if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you in the next one bye, bye.